Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Star Wars The Vintage Collection Admiral Piet from Return of the Jedi. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and help me to build my channel. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I was really excited to get this figure because this is going to be the new body mold, I assume, for the Imperial. So I wanted to check it out. Um... I really enjoy Admiral Piet's brief appearances, though I thought it was odd that they gave him a Return of the Jedi card because he's more, he's featured more in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, he takes over for Admiral Ozzel when he gets choked out for failing Vader. Uh, and all I can remember of Admiral Piet in Return of the Jedi is when he dies uh, in the end battle. Uh, he's on the Star Destroyer and it gets blown up. And he's like, intensify forward firepower or whatever, something like that. And then he dies. And that's all he is in uh, Return of the Jedi. But I guess he is technically an admiral by that point where uh, in Empire Strike Strikes Back, he's a commander. Then he becomes the admiral. But anyhow, I, maybe I thought it would have been more appropriate if it was an Empire card. Also, I thought the opening scene of Return of the Jedi with Vader and the, the Imperial officer, I thought that was Admiral Piet, but it was actually Moff Jer Jared. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> we're, um, we're actually going to get a figure for that as well uh, soon. So let's open them up and check them out real quick, see what the new body mold is going to be like for the Imperials. Uh, VC-270, uh, in this way you get Admiral Piet, Hunter from the Clone Wars, Cassian Andor. Um, in a disguise, we get the new Clone Trooper Phase 2 mold. We get another Cassian Andor, Vel Sarfa, Cal Kestis, and Starkiller, which I think is just kind of a waste because they didn't even give him um, new articulation. So anyhow... Let's open them up. I cut the pill with an X-Acto knife. Um, there's the card. Nice image uh, from Return of the Jedi. We have the second Death Star in the background. Um, which, I don't know, maybe you guys know this. I didn't know this for a long time. But the second Death Star is actually twice the size of the original Death Star. Which I thought was very fascinating. So there it is in the background. Let's pull him out and see what he is like and i'm all oh <laughs> i'm excited already because we have a torso articulation so he is on a ball joint uh let's get a good look at that face uh really nice they even captured the bags under his eyes because he has uh he has this like nice scowling presence and um very tired look he has bags under his eyes so i'm really happy that the figure Captured that. That's what he looks like from the side, from the back. And his hat is removable. So that's awesome. I love that. He has a nice little side part. And we can throw his hat on there. I think the only thing they're missing here is he has a bit of a furrowed brow. See the furrowed brow uh, in the center there? Um, the figure doesn't have that. He has more of a wide-eyed sort of corpse look but uh admiral piet so loving the articulation we got the ball joint uh let's see if it's the double barbell i assume it is uh ah, having trouble pulling this off yeah so we get the nice double barbell which gives really great neck motion and head articulation gonna throw his hat back on let's put it backwards he's a gangster yo what's up <laughs> Admiral Piet, now I'm going to put it on proper. He is a uh, soldier of the Empire. We have to respect the Empire, right? Um, shoulders go up like so. Really nice sculpt. Very pleased with this already. Um, this is going to be great. I just, ah, uh, torso articulation. Nice. Look at that nice shiny belt buckle. The paint. Uh, the tunic is soft. And we got the T-joints, my friends. So we got nice articulation, beautiful, beautiful. This is very exciting. Uh, horizontal wrist joint on this side. I don't know why they would do that, but we got the vertical uh, wrist joint on the other side for uh, some weapons holding action. Ah, 
the, it, mine's stuck though. I, see, I can't bend it. It's very soft. It's a very soft plastic compared to other Imperials that I've felt. Um, we can kick the leg up that high. We got ankle articulation. We got ankle pivot. Yeah, love that pivot. Uh, we got ni uh, about 90 degrees in the knee. You can force it if you want. That's what he looks like from the back. Really awesome figure. I'm very excited about this. Uh, what else do we have? He comes with a blaster. Which they are making it very difficult to remove. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So just your standard blaster. The thing I don't like about, um, you know, they, they should give like a holster on the back. Or, or you could be able to like port it on to the side somewhere. Just so I like it when your figures have like a place to keep their blaster. So I guess he's just going to keep it in his hand. You can get some really nice dynamic posing with him. Um, just as a comparison, here uh, is Thrawn. So Thrawn's tunic is solid. I can't even move his legs. Um, there is no... Uh, legs spreading for the hip joint he can't do a split or a straddle um he, this is a very solid figure for thrawn uh, we have rotation in the waist but no uh, ball joint and then this is the old school um just single ball joint on the head for this old thrawn figure that i have i love this figure by the way he looks so awesome and menacing um but yeah Piet is a vast improvement. I, I'm really happy. I hope they make a, a Grand Moff Tarkin figure with this body mold. A new Admiral Thrawn with uh, this body mold. And it's going to be great. So awesome figure. Highly recommend it. I'm going to get Moff Jeff Jared <laughs> when he comes out. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And God bless you all. Peace.